Hi, my name's Alex and I'm from Sony Ericsson. In this clip, I'm going to show you how to set up and use the Spotify application exclusive to 3 on the Sony Ericsson X10. Before we get started, I'll give you a quick hardware tour of the Sony Ericsson X10. First of all, as you can see, it's got a 4-inch widescreen VGA display. Across the bottom, you have three buttons. You have your back key, home key, and your settings or more key. On the back of the device, You'll notice it has an 8.1 megapixel camera with a photo flash. On the top, we have a micro USB port. This is where you can connect a handset to charge it or connect it to a laptop, PC or Mac to use with the data suite. On this side, we have the lock and the power key. And then in the center, we have a 3.5mm jack. This is where you can use the headphones that you get in the box with the X10 or any other universal 3.5mm headset. You can also use this to connect to a hi-fi which is great when using the Spotify application. To get started, press the lock key on the top of the handset once and then follow the arrow in the direction of the white sweep. It will then open up the Android operating system and in here you can see you have three screens, one on the right, one in the middle and then one on the left. You also have a notifications bar at the top which will update you on any texts or emails that you get through to the handset and at the bottom we have a menu that lists all of the applications on the handset. For this clip, we're going to show you the Spotify application. Start off by signing in. And then once you've signed in, you'll see you have five panels across the bottom available. Each one of them I'll go through now, starting off with the left-hand one, which is your playlists. When you first start up this application, there'll be no playlists at all in this part of the screen. The next option is the search bar, where you can search for tracks, albums, or artists. The next one is the last track played. This is where it'll let you play the track again, or give you more information on the artist. Dragging that down, the next option is the home panel. This is where Spotify will recommend music based on your taste. And then finally, you have the more tab, which goes into settings, more about the application and how to log out. I'm now going to show you how to set up a playlist and then add and also remove tracks. To start with, click on playlists and then from here, hit the settings button at the bottom left hand corner of the X10. On here, you have three options, the middle one being create a new playlist. Then select the screen to name the playlist and then select OK. You'll then see that the playlist has been created and it has zero tracks inside it. From here you then click on search and then at the top you have the search bar. You can either create a new search by simply typing in what you're interested in or you'll notice that any previous searches are available on the screen. So if I click on Mike Snow, it'll then start a new search based on that artist. Here we can see a bunch of tracks. We also have albums and the artist himself in the search. To put tracks into the playlist, press and hold and then you have four options. As I mentioned, you have the ability to add it to a playlist. You can also view more tracks on the album that that track is from, view the artist in more detail or in fact share the track either via Facebook or any other blogging site. So I'll then add to playlist and then you select the playlist you'd like to add it to. I'll do this for another couple of songs. Once you've finished, then you can go back to the playlists. As you can see here, the new playlist has now got three tracks. If we click on it once, it'll then expand and show you the three tracks that have been selected. From here, you can press and hold again and either delete or have similar information as previous. If you then go back and then click and hold in the actual playlist itself, you can delete the whole playlist or 
You can rename the playlist or share it again, either via Facebook or blogging sites. If you want to be able to play a track, click on the playlist and then as I say you'll see the list of tracks. For this, I'm going to use a Sony Ericsson MBS200. You then click on the track and you'll see the album art and information on the track turn up before it starts to play. While it's playing, you can then hit the I button. This will give you information on what the track is, the album, and anything else to do with the artist. From here, you can click on the artist. It will give you information like top hits, overview, and a biography on the artist. When complete, grab the top of the icon and drag it down to bring you back to the playlist again. Now that I've shown you how to set up a playlist, I'll also show you how to make it available offline. When you're in the playlist option, click Offline Playlists. And here you'll see a list of the playlists that you have. And any you want to make available, simply click. You'll then see that that's set to download. Spotify is automatically set by default to only synchronize offline playlists when you're connected to Wi-Fi. You can change this to also be set to synchronize when you're connected to a 3G network. But to do that, you have to go into the More tab, which we'll go into in more detail later on. When you're finished selecting the playlist you'd like to have offline, select Done. I'll then take you back to the list of options. The next panel I'd like to show you is the Home panel. If I click the Home panel, you'll see that Spotify instantly recognizes the type of music you listen to and recommends tracks based on your taste in music. The beauty of this is the more tracks that you listen to, the more Spotify understands your tastes and develops its recommendations based on that. To view any of the tracks or albums selected by Spotify in the recommendations, simply click on the album. It'll then load up the tracks that are available that you can then click on one at a time to listen to, or you have the option to add the whole album to a playlist. When you're finished, select Done, and it'll then take you back to the recommendations home screen. I'm now going to show you the More tab. And here, you can see that you have a few options, Settings, About, and Log Out. Starting off with Settings, inside here you have three to four options. The first one being Force Offline. This will turn the Spotify application from online to offline so that you can use the device without it being connected to a network. The next option is Synchronize over Wi-Fi or over 3G. As I mentioned before, the handset is automatically set to synchronize over Wi-Fi when using the Spotify application to save any data or network charges. If you want to synchronize over 3G, first of all make sure that you have the correct data bundle added to your account and we recommend Internet Max. When you want to turn this on, simply click this button here. The last option you have is Clear to Save Data. When you click on this option here, it will delete all offline playlists that have been synchronized with the handset. If we then go back, the next option is About. And here you'll see the version of Spotify that's been used, but more importantly, you'll see what amount of memory is available, the total storage you have on the memory card, and the storage that you're currently using with a percentage, so you can keep track of how much music you've made available offline using the Spotify application. If we then go back, you're left with one other option, which is to log out. When you click on this icon, it'll then take you out of the application and bring you back to the home screen. Finally, I'll show you how to add the Spotify widget to the home screen of the Android X10. Press and hold on the screen and you bring up this option for widgets, shortcuts, folders and wallpaper. The other option is to press the settings tab and inside here you'll see the ability to add. You'll then be faced with the same options and inside that you select widgets. If you scroll down, you'll see the third from the bottom is Spotify. This allows you to control the application without even having to load it up. You can then play, pause, rewind or fast forward tracks, which will also show the album art on this widget as well. Thanks very much for watching this clip on how to set up and use the Spotify account exclusive to 3 on the Sony Ericsson X10.